guys welcome back um this is just a quick video i've been negligent in showing you guys the dry paintings recently so thought i would just tune in real quick um i wanted to start with the <laughs> hey guys uh the two pores that i poured over so this is the one that i didn't do anything to i just straight poured right over it as you can see, no crazing, no cracking. It dried just fine, albeit it is a little bit of a dark painting, but still pretty nice. Um, so that was definitely a viable option to just pour straight over it. Worked just fine. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> All right. And here is the uh, second one that I did the re-pour over. Um, and I did just so this one, as you can see, you can see again, no crazing, no cracking. I just sewed over a pour that I didn't like, and then I poured right over it. And I love this one. So I don't know why. I just really like this one, especially this corner. So cool. Yeah, Libby, definitely order some of those mica flakes. They are killer. So, um, and then this is the one that I had like missed a little spot with resin on a corner. As you can see now, perfectly flat. No missed resin. And then I also added some, <laughs> you can see me. I didn't do my hair yet. <laughs> um, some translucent black over there. <laughs> so, yep, there's that one. And then here is the geode from last night. So it's not 1000% dry, but pretty, pretty dry. Um, so see these like patterns, the mica flakes help create those patterns. I did lose kind of a lot of my black. So I don't have as much contrast. Um, good morning, Mary. Uh, Jeannie, the mica flakes are from Stone Coat Countertops. Um, let me grab a packet and show you real quick. So these are some, these are bronze flakes. Yeah, so that's where those come from. And the uh, link to their website is down in the description, along with a coupon code if you want to try out some of their amazing products. Yeah. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. I'm So overall, for my first geode and whatnot, I'm very happy. I actually like those patterns that were created. I think it adds to it. I think it's cool. So there's that. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you this one, mainly just because I really like it. <laughs> so I put the second layer of resin on it. I had a resin background that I didn't really like, so I painted these flowers on top of it and then put a clear coat over it. So, yeah. Aw, oh, Libby. Yeah, they had a great... Stone Coat had an amazing giveaway yesterday. If you guys aren't following their YouTube channel yet, I would definitely check out. Because um, they are just really, really great people, and their channel is fun. And you learn a lot of cool stuff. All right, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't shown you guys. I guess the only other thing would be the vase. Um, so, it's interesting. This is resin on top of here for anyone that missed the video last night. Uh, didn't quite get all the spots, but that's okay. Plus, I need to cut this part off. But anyways, I like the bottom. Basically, I'm going to just take any leftover resin on future products and I'll just pour it over here until I'm happy with it. I actually quite like it, even as it is right now. Um, it's very, like, delicate. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the resin base. It was fun. Hi, Charming Giraffe. Uh, no, it's not sticky. It's already quite dry. I mean, there's the 24-hour rule, which it hasn't been 24 hours yet. Um, but yeah, generally within like six to eight hours, it's pretty, uh, pretty dry. 
Um, can you put a candle in the vase? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. You could use it as a candle holder. Um, so with the translucency, um, it would definitely look cool as a candle holder. So, yeah. There you go. I like it, yeah. I like it more today than I liked it last night. <laughs> so, and it's definitely different. All right, guys. I think that's it for today. I just wanted to show you all those dry projects because I realized it had been a while since I showed you guys all the the dry stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. Fairy lights would look really cool in the vase, too. You are right, Angie. That would look amazing. I can't leave yet. What, do you guys want me to paint something? I haven't even had my coffee yet. <laughs> um, I'm in Los Angeles. So, all right, guys. I am going to tune out for now, uh, but I will likely be back later today with at least a regular video and, who knows, maybe another live video just to have some fun. Yes, I do sell my art, Julie. Uh, if you look below in the description, you can find a link um, for my Etsy store. I got a lot of cool stuff up for sale there, and we're actually having a 30% off sale right now. So now would be a good time to uh, check out the Etsy store. All right, guys, have a fantastic Wednesday. Happy hump day, and I will see you later. <laughs> I will miss you, Tina. Miss you very much. Bye, guys.